What I'm hoping to show today is two things. One is that uh, suppressors can truly be silent and the other is that the sound of supersonic ammunition through a suppressor actually causes the sound of the shooter to appear in a direction approximately 180 degrees opposite of where the shooter is. The two firearms that I'm using today are a Savage 22 um, with an AAC aviator suppressor and this is a AR with a model one sail model one sales upper this chambered for 300 fireball which is approximately 300 221 300 whisper or Remington is now selling essentially the same cartridge as a 300 blackout it's very similar and it has an AAC 762SD suppressor on it the ammunition that I'm shooting today is two different types and the thing to understand about suppressors is that when you shoot with a suppressor you're able to stop the kaboom of the bullet discharging from the barrel but you cannot stop the supersonic crack of the bullet breaking the sound barrier so if you're using a barrel longer than five and a half to six inches almost any 22 ammo will go supersonic if you're shooting a handgun or a very short barreled rifle uh, promo ammo from Walmart, Federal, uh, Winchester, Remington, the 550 round boxes uh, and a short barrel do not have time to build up the velocity. However, in a 16 or 17 inch or 20 inch 22 rifle barrel, you have to go with standard velocity. This is CCI and I don't know if you can see it or not, it's about 1,070 feet per second. So the subsonic ammo that I'm going to shoot is this. And then the regular ammo that I'll be shooting is just uh, a Walmart group buy. I think it's, um, this is Winchester hollow point. And this is just standard uh, ammo that you get at um, Walmart or anywhere else. And you'll hear it kapow. Now, what we're talking about with the 223, uh, and the 300 whisper, the parent case is actually the 223, which is this cartridge right here. It's the military 556 or 223. We also have the 300 whisper or 300 221 with a 125 grain hunting bullet. This is a Sierra, and it's producing approximately the same velocity and same energy as a 762 SD would generate. Uh, very close to, to just shy of a 3030. And then on the right is the same cartridge, but it's loaded with uh, a different pistol powder and it's sporting a 208 grain Hornady AMAX bullet. Again, we have to fire the bullet under 1,070 feet per second so that we don't get a supersonic crack. And since the speed limit is set. The only thing we can do to increase our energy is to throw a heavier projectile. I've had very good luck with these 208. Sierra also makes a 220 and a 240. And with the 240s at 1,070 feet, when it is shot out of this rifle at 100 yards, it generates the energy of about a 357 Magnum at the muzzle. It's somewhere around 500 something feet per second, 500 foot pounds of energy. So it's not the ideal for harvesting a deer, but it will do it. So I'm going to shoot these from, let you hear the discharge from under the shooting bench. And then I'm also going to put my camera down range and let you hear it from down range. And so that's what I'm going to attempt to do today. The first two rounds will be subsonic, then I'll shoot two rounds of supersonic. And then I'll take off the suppressor and fire one round of supersonic. Hopefully you can hear the bullet impact the target and you can see the, the distance, the time it takes it to travel. This is uh, subsonic.
another subsonic. This will be a supersonic. And I don't know if you could tell it, but it sounds like the gunshot came from the downrange and not under the canopy. Another supersonic. And then I'm going to remove the suppressor and you'll hear the supersonic without any suppression. And that concludes the 22 from the right, from the bench. Here again, this is with the 300 fireball. I've got my system set up where it won't hopefully won't cycle in a semi-automatic mode so that I can catch my shells. But the first round will be suppressed subsonic, and then I'll shoot a supersonic suppressed. And then I'll also shoot a supersonic without the suppressor on it. And the first round again is suppressed. It actually cycled with that. The next round will be um, without, it'll be a supersonic. You should hear the crack of the bullet. And then the next one will be without the suppressor. Hopefully that shows the difference there.